Hello there everybody, I'm Shreeja from Cambridge School and today I have made a project called Smart Street Light over here. So first question is why have I made this and what problem does it solve? Many of our, many a times we must have seen that the street, li street lights are on even when it is morning. So that is just waste of energy because we don't need it during the morning. But here it's a smart street light. Here, it detects the light intensity around you and accordingly, the lights will switch on or off. That is, if there is more, more light around you, like now, the lights will stay off. If there is less light around you, what do you think is going to happen? Yes, the lights are going to turn on. Now, let me see what happens when I switch off the lights. You can see that the lights have turned on, making the road very bright. Isn't it great? Now let's turn on the lights back and see the result. See, you could see that the lights have turned off. Now it's much more efficient and the energy, time and effort gets saved. I'm now going to show you how to make the smart street light on go to play Here you can see two buttons, two labels and one list picker. The list picker here is to connect your app to your motherboard over Bluetooth. These two buttons are to initialize and deinitialize the APDS. This is a static label and this is a dynamic label. In this dynamic label, the ambience value is going to be shown. So uh, with this, we have the Bluetooth client and the notifier. Both of these are in the very first step, that is while connecting our app to our motherboard, we need these two components. Then we have the APDS sensor. That, uh, this APDS sensor is basically a combination of six sensors that is proximity, gesture, color, ambient light, gyro and accelerometer sensor. But for now we will be using just the ambient light sensor to detect the intensity around you. Then we have two LEDs and two RGBs for the light and that's it in the designer's interface. Now moving on to the blocks, you can see this block and this block. These two blocks are used to connect your motherboard and your app together. These two buttons are used to initialize and deinitialize the APDS. Now coming to the one huge block of code. So, when the ambience value is in change, we need to see whether the light is more or less. And according to that, we need to turn on the LEDs or turn it off. So, to see whether it's more or less, we need the conditional statement if then else and if it is if the ambient light is less than 300 then we need to set the leds the rgbs to on in led we there's just two value that is true and false true is for on and false is for off but in rgbs there's a value from 0 to 255 0 means not on at all and as you move forward that is if you keep increasing the number it becomes more brighter so i have set them to 200 else if else if the ambient light is more than 300 which is there's enough light around you already then i need to set my leds and the rgbs to false and zero respectively and that's all just this one two three four five blocks of code thank you